hello to my cancers this is queen amun ra coming to you with your general reading all right cancers let's get right into it see what's in your cards happy 11 11 you may be watching this on november 10th though but reading is for november the 11th through november 18th all right let's get into it see what's in your cards let's see what you are now enlightened about number 11 symbolizes light light L-I-G-H-T. Let's see what you are enlightened about. Within yourselves. Within yourselves. Not about somebody else, but within you. What are you enlightened about yourselves? What are you? Okay. Wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. You're wiser now. Wiser, wiser, wiser. 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 Okay. Here's the King of Pentacles. So someone has a lot of information now. All right, somebody's successful, you know, and um, somebody's feeling more joyful. Somebody's feeling a lot more successful, you know, um, now that you have moved on from what you may feel like could have been like a lot of distractions, you know, like possibly a circus. Whether it was your son or someone else's son or something you know somebody's like you know you have a wealth of knowledge about something you have a wealth of knowledge like you have king of pentacles wealth of knowledge about something at this point right and you're really just kind of sort of following your own star you're really following your own star here we have the um, princess of cups here and somebody is getting ready to live a softer life a much softer life now here we have the star card so, yeah. Somebody's about to live a, a much softer life. Now that you have somebody now possibly feel like they have what they need. Yeah, we know that the sun is a star, but um, um, somebody just feels like, uh, you know, recharged. Like when I talk about like, um, um, like just feel like you're like sunbathing. Like somebody just feels like they just cleansed by the sun. Like if that makes any sense, right? Somebody just feels um, recharged, you know, just like recharge, reset, right? Just feels nourished, feels like um, you don't feel like spiritually dehydrated, if that makes any sense to somebody. You just feel rich, wealthy, and you may not even have that much money in your bank account, <laughs> but, you, but you just feel wealthy, like you just feel like... I'm trying to see how best I can describe how somebody may feel. Like you just feel, um, as a water sign, um, like your water is full of just like clear water, if that makes sense to somebody. You just feel wise, like the wisdom of source in you. Yeah. I feel very smart. Very wise, very smart. Like we've gone through a metamorphosis, right? Very compassionate is what someone feels. Here we have, I see a third eye is open. Definitely a third eye is open now to something, right? Um, Somebody could have been in the dark about something and didn't know it. You know, people could have been keeping somebody in the dark about something and they didn't know it. Somebody could have been keeping you in the dark about something and you didn't know it. Right? Um, sun illuminates the moon. Oops. Right, so three types of people could have been keeping somebody in the dark about something and they had no clue, had no idea what was going on, right? Or you, three types of people could have been keeping you in the dark about something and you had no idea. Um, so, but a lot of fighting is going on now. A lot of fighting, like, lots of wands swinging, lots of wands swinging, arguing going on. 
tower upheaval is going on right now, right? A lot of people jump to conclusions about something. People jump to conclusions <clears throat> about some things, right? Here we have the higher font card. Yeah, so people jump to some conclusions about some things and and um, kept a lot of people in the dark about some things, right? And so, looks like some good news, you know, is coming through. Some, like some good news is coming through, right? You better leave some things behind. Maybe leave, leave some things behind and move on. Oh. Yeah, you're able to lose some things. When you look back, you, it's like a turning point for you. You're able to move on from some things. Yep, you're able to move on. And have clarity of thought. So the Magician card connects us to um, Mercury. And Mercury is currently pre-shadow retrograde. So Mercury is... Um, the messenger and the communication planet, but it's a uh, factual memory, trade, travel, commerce, um, amongst other things, but it's also knowledge and learning. So something was an experience. Somebody now learned something about themselves, right? When you look back over things and how people jump to conclusions about people, you know, without, um, or how people jump may have jumped to conclusions about you or just people just when people jump to conclusions right just in general you know when you look back and um um and don't really know what's going on right so what happens is that like <clears throat> looking at the cards here this is the i believe sign right this is this connects us with pisces but we're not talking about a pisces we're talking about just Pisces being the I believe sign. I'm going to make this reading very short because a lot of people have two videos that's coming out. So that's a lot of work. <laughs> so a lot of people have two videos. But anyway, when people start to believe in themselves, right? Um, most people don't know which chapter of people's lives they come in on. And they don't know what it took for them to have to believe in themselves. They don't know if they've come in on the 18th chapter of their lives, would mean like 18 years old, the 25th chapter of their lives, the 30th chapter of their lives, the 45th chapter of their lives, the 50th chapter of their lives. They don't know if they're coming in after people have retired, left jobs, switched careers. They don't know what chapter of people's lives they've come in on. And... They don't, or they don't know if it's a major, I mean, that's a major life change. They don't know if they've come in on a chapter of people's lives when they've experienced a death, a divorce, um, whatever, right? You see this person on the beach, right? They don't know if they've. this person has never taken a vacation. They could have worked a job for 20 years and never took a vacation, but they decided, hey, they saved up. They're going to take a vacation for once. And people could come in on their lives when they finally taken a vacation. All of a sudden, this right here, people can jump to conclusions about something, right? Um, and start making immature comments about people, right? Somebody must have paid for that trip. I wonder what they did for that trip, right? Right? Start making dark comments about things. So anyway, so have a belief system about certain things, right? Um, a lot of different motives, whatever. But anyway, so source is saying, you know, jumping to conclusions never really helps anything. That's the whole point. Source is um, helping somebody now, just looking back in retrospect, is helping somebody to, um, now that you're kind of sort of back in the saddle again, your third eye is open, there may be some baiting and switching going on with something. You know, in the future, your mind may go to, depending on who you're around, because this right here, if you're around people, if you stay around people who like to keep people in the dark, Cancer, this is what Source is trying to tell you, 
and you don't know what your purpose is and you don't believe in your own purpose and you're you're around people who automatically think that you're lying about everything it's just a kind of can you know repeating a cycle that's that's what it is it's just repeating a cycle Is a seven of pentacles. So I feel like you're going to be planting some new seeds are being planted now. Brand new seeds are being planted. But something has to end for you to start saying you need to pull up some weeds like in your own garden and say, okay, I need to. That's what we've been seeing in your readings. Like sources pushing somebody back into their crab shell. Like sources saying, okay, it's time for some alone time. So you can start pouring some compassion back into yourself. And that's the good news for somebody. It's like, okay, it's like starting over again. Somebody's going to feel like a, feel youthful again. That's you, right? So again, only reason I feel like it has a little girl on here because you're, you're, sign, you're divine feminine. So I'm talking to men and women, but that's the only reason. So that could, you know, Paige is just youthful energy. It could be a little boy, but you know, somebody's going to start feeling youthful again because you're back in your crab shell, going through a molting process, but it's like an adult going back through, like pouring back into yourself from now on. Like, okay, before you jump to conclusions because you heard such and such about whatever, and your spirit is like, okay, baiting and switching, but some not adding up here. I'm confused what's going on. This tower card is saying, okay, let me, let me hold on. Let me go to source and prayer first before I'm just getting all confused. Like, what in the world? Right? Let, let me, let me, hold on. Let me pray about something because I'm not really sure what is going on. Or you think somebody lying about something. Somebody going to go back down them stairs in your mind and start saying, wait a minute now. Hold on. Ace of Swords. Because somebody you came along, somebody, like I said, it may not be, it's not always parallel universes, but somebody you may have come across may have gone through something where somebody told them something a long time ago where people were committed to telling, okay, let me see how I can word this. Because there's plenty of movies. There's plenty of movies where these things happen, where people come across people's lives. There's always a reason why people come across your path. Um, but... Something about your knowledge your particular career something about your the knowledge that you have the particular profession that you're in cancer um connected you with somebody that people thought were lying about something um A source sent you across their path to help them. Like, but, um, let's see how I can word this. Source sent you across their path to help them, but there was, but the people kept, you know, it's like a, it was like a, like a, it's like something was like a big cover up with an organization. Looking at the cards, it's like a big cover up with an organization. And so it was easier to keep like throwing darts at, at just an energy to say, okay, oh, this person's a liar. They're this, they're that, they're so on and so forth. They're this and that because they, like I said, want to keep people in the dark about something. Here we have a cold card. So two people. Here we have the judgment card. So 
So now somebody is now saying, okay, it's time to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. Now it's time to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. Now it's, and that part of it is like, okay, no longer judging people or being up under other people's judgment. That's what somebody's now starting to say, okay, it, it's time to it, it's time to stop. Like, because <clears throat> like I said, there's three types of energies keeping everybody, you know, in you know, in the dark about something. So somebody's gonna feel like a, a whole new lease on life. I'm gonna feel like a whole new lease on life, right? Here we have the eight of pentacles here. Here we have the two of swords here. So somebody could be at an impasse right now trying to figure out like how to proceed, like how to move forward, right? But as we get closer and closer to the full moon, it's a it's a even stronger pull. It's an even stronger pull. So five, that's six, seven, eight. So the stronger pull is again, somebody's gonna hear more of like um maybe more judgment like being said about something like you know like here is like physical like here is this physical like proof like here is like this like physical something right of something right is the sun card Yep, yeah, here is a page of cups here. So again, you know, it's like um, something is going to take you and somebody. It's a it's you, a man and a woman. It's going to like pull out the young man and the young woman and, and somebody. It's going to take you and somebody back to your childhood because the energies that's pulling out like the physical part of something is really just trying to bully people right but it's going to take somebody all the way back to something where people didn't believe somebody right that's what's going to be made clear but how something is happening is because we have a full beaver moon right so if anybody knows anything about how beavers boil dams during the winter time it's really fast. So it, it's really fast during the winter time. It's really cold, right? So the way something is being done is really cold, right? It's like really cold hearted. Um, and it's just like, you see this person had on blindfolds, right? It's like they're gonna feel blindsided by something, right? Right? All because somebody stopped talking to people. Yeah, all because somebody stopped talking to people. And people don't know why. Yeah, and people don't know why. So what's the enlightenment is, here we have 2 and 9 is 11. 11 is a master number. And so again, that's where it's time to get off the fence and go right into prayer. That's where the enlightenment is, right? So remember readings, that's why people say, you know, you hear people say, Take only what resonates with you. Whoever's name comes across your spirit, it doesn't have to be you. You can pray for yourself, obviously. You know, source anything that can just sneak up on you that comes across as cold, right? It's like, because um, you know how beavers build a dam, they build it real fast, right? It's like building up something real fast. It's just like, um, no matter how quick it, something is torn down, Right, like a tower car, like something getting torn down quickly or built up quickly, right? Comes at you fast, right? Um, you feel like once you stop talking to certain energies, like for instance, you all could have like people you've been around for a while, but source could be protecting you from some energies and push you back into your crab shell, cancers. People could be assuming, okay, why all of a sudden... Cancer's not talking to so-and-so. How come, what, what's up with cancer? 
something seems suspicious. It literally could be, I mean, I'm serious. It literally could be source has just created an opportunity for you all for your money to grow. And you don't have more than 24 hours in a day. You could literally just be tired <laughs> and people get suspicious jumping to conclusions. And no matter what you say, because that's the frequency they're on, they're on a low vibrating frequency, right? And because they've been keeping people in the dark about stuff for so long, they could assume you are keeping them in the dark. That's why I'm trying to help somebody. And they go right into judging you, right? So, oh, they must be up to something. They stop talking. Okay, what, what, what do we got on certain people? So, source is saying to you, you know, you are seeing something. Like, you're in your... You're in the light about something. You and somebody are now enlightened about something. You're now enlightened about something. You can't, it's not even something you can even just deny. Y'all are enlightened about something. The source is saying you got a lot of incoming information about a lot of things coming in right now. You got a lot of incoming information coming in. Right? And what source is saying to you. <clears throat> Like when you got some good news, you and somebody got good news coming in. Like I said, something new you're creating, but also compassion. That's also coming in as well. All right. Six of Wands and victory. Victory for you, victory for somebody else. All right. Two of Cups and Soulmate. You're going to be grateful that something is behind you. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful that something is behind you. Yep. I'm grateful that something is behind you. And something lies ahead, which is compassion. Hit the three of cups. You and somebody are going to be grateful that something lies ahead. And that's what you all are going to be talking about. And that's what you're going to be celebrating. Yep, that's what you and somebody are going to be celebrating. All right, let's see what else we got. It's, uh, for somebody, it's time to start dating again for somebody. But you are protected in love. Don't get yourself, don't give yourself a headache over something. But your next love interest is gonna make you happier. Somebody is amongst the incubi and succubi, but um third eye chakra cleanse, and you are protected by angels, everything in moderation. Of course, obviously, if you're with your person, it's not time to start dating again. <laughs> so again, take only what <laughs> take only what resonates with you, right? Take only what resonates with you. Take only what resonates with you. But you're have you're you have the gift of clear sentience, you pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions and moods and feelings. Just pray for them. And so you, uh, you versus you. But he apologizes for betraying you, whoever he is. But somebody has a very bitter ex. Ex could be ex-friend, ex-love interest, ex-whomever. Y'all know ex, right? X, X, X. But um, somebody is just, like I said, trying to just break generational cycles, chains, and curses. And as is everyone trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. And so it doesn't matter if somebody is the first person to graduate from high school in their family. That is breaking something generational. That should be applauded, should be celebrated. It's a milestone, you know. You can be the first entrepreneur in the family, the first person to move away from the core group of the family. All of those things should be celebrated. And um, and people will judge you for it, unfortunately, but there are very compassionate people, you know, out here, you know, in the world. If you're a person who, like I mentioned in that uh, car right there, that the you could have been working for 15, 20 years, never took a vacation, but pouring into everybody else, investing in everybody else. First time you decide you want to go on vacation, people can meet you at a certain point in your life and all of a sudden they see you on the upswing finally and just make judgment calls. Oh, this person got all, they got a, they live in a good life. They this and that, they hearing all the negative, all this stuff going on, lies about people. And everybody just can't wait to pounce on and ruin and tear down everything somebody works so hard for because whatever. So... Anyway, Source is just trying to help somebody like 
something is being exposed about these three types of energies that like to keep people in the dark about stuff, but somehow, you know, they're not benefiting from something. As soon as the it's a, in these types of energies, as soon as people stop they stop benefiting from, you know, people's money in some way or financial something in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It just goes into, you know, yeah. So, but you are who they prayed for. They they go right into create nightmares for people in what way, whatever way, shape, form, or fashion. But, um. But something is something is going to remind somebody. Something is going to take some people back to um, their childhood. Something is going to take some people back to their childhood. It's going to be a total recall of something for a whole lot of people. Just like that that beaver. That be there's a full moon. It's going to be a full um, beaver moon, right? It's like a beaver dam. It's going to be like somebody, it's going to be coming at somebody hard, like like everybody really just like hard, hard and cold right just like you know oh you don't want to be a part of something oh okay and so that could be like um you know like when you're younger if if you know like let's say part your your friendship group or whatever oh you don't want to be um you know just finding out those aren't really your friends <laughs> like what or like you know finding out oh you can't sit with us you know that kind of you know ridiculousness so yeah the maiden mm -hmm. so your path dear lord help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what i can see through my fears and illusions fears and illusions yeah Abundance. My life experience is that of wealth and abundance. I give thanks that I'm prosperous in every way. All of my professional dealings are blessed and highly favored. Yeah. Something is definitely ending permanently. Definitely ending permanently. So. <clears throat> so take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Out. Yep, let's go ahead and close it out. We got a few more cards we're picking up here, and we're gonna go ahead and close it out. Take time to breathe out. So, so I was just saying, you would definitely be getting back to work. New seeds are being planted here. Yep, some new seeds are being planted in you and somebody's mind. New beginning. Right. So as you are, like I said, as you are moving on, you know, like I said, from just moving on, just moving on. Let me have ten cards here. Moving on, focusing on your legacy. <clears throat> just focusing on your legacy, right? And learning how to, in a very meek way. Um, and just in a very meek way, um, focusing on your legacy and just making just making a decision, making your decision to just balance things out, just just balancing things out, right? There's a page of coins here. So again, I feel like somebody may again be feeling like a whole new lease on life. So you and somebody may be feeling like a whole new lease on life again. All right. Um, Twenty-two. I am aligned. So you are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it, it is assured that you can achieve anything that you wish. That's right. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me, Cancers. Um, uh, like I said, sending good, positive vibrations your way. Uh, we will be opening back up the. Um, I'll announce it in the next reading. But anyway, so that's what we have for you. So sending good um, vibrations your way. This reading is for 1111 through 1118. Okay? All right. Bye.